Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to define an angle, the sides, and the vertex. So, what is an angle? An angle is actually pretty difficult to define, but they have a way for it in geometry. So, what do we call an angle in geometry? It is the union of two rays that have a common or the same end point. So, here we have two rays emanating from the same point right here, so that's the end point. And that end point, by the way, is also called the vertex of the angle. And so an angle is simply a union of two rays that have a common end point. Best way to define it. So, what can we also say about these? Well, the rays are the sides of the angle. So the rays then form the sides of the angle, and the vertex is then called, the common end point is then called the vertex. So that's how we define an angle in geometry. So how do we write it in an equation format? Well, this is the symbol that we use for the angle that I have right over here, same symbol right here. And we can either numerate the angle, so this would be angle number one. Here we have two angles called angle number one and angle number two. We can also denote the angle by the points that are at the end point, the vertex, and the two points that are on the two rays. So we can also call it the angle BAC or the angle CAB. Doesn't matter which way, they're all the exact same thing. So these are all the same or all equivalent to one another. With angles, we can also call all the points outside the angle, it's called the exterior of the angle, and all the points defined by the two rays between the two rays is called the interior of the angle. Now here we have two angles. Notice that the two angles have a common side, so that we have right here, angle number one and angle number two, or angle one, angle two, have a common side. They also have a common vertex, but the outside rays, of course, are not common to one another. They do not share any interior points. So if you look at all the points inside the interior of angle number one and all the points interior of angle number two, there's no coincidence there. They are not the same points. So they do not share any common points. Here we have two rays or two lines actually drawn across one another. They intersect right here. We can also think of it as being four rays or two lines. And notice that we have angles that are opposite to one another. Two and four are opposite to one another. One and three are opposite to one another. And you can see that the rays that make angle three and the rays that make angle one are opposite rays. The rays that make angle two and the rays that make angle four are opposite rays. So therefore, we call them vertical angles. So one and three are considered vertical angles. Two and four are considered vertical angles. And we can say so because their sides form opposite rays. So now we have a good definition for angle, a good definition for the size of the angle, a good definition for the vertex, and we understand now what common sides mean, and we also understand what the vertical angle is, and that we know that the vertical angles are formed because their rays are opposite rays. So a good look at what angles, sides, and vertex is here in geometry. Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to... I lost what I was going to say. ...have a common end point, and the angle between them... That doesn't make any sense. How do you define an angle? How do you define an angle? What is an angle? A pointy thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it a pointy thing. All right. Okay, pointy let's, thing. let's try this again. I don't think I'll call it a pointy thing. <laughs> All right, ready? 